PUSD Board Meeting Highlights for Tuesday, May 12, 2009. Superintendent's Report Superintendent Diaz reported the tragic loss of a young PUSD student who was killed over the weekend and asked the community to reflect on the devastating impact and effects of youth violence. The board held a moment of silence to acknowledge the loss and called for a commitment to reduce gang violence and provide brighter futures for young people. District English Learner Advisory Committee Recommendations Officers of the District English Learner Advisory Committee, or DLAC, presented an annual report and recommendations for improving service and support to English learners. The DLAC holds regular meetings of English Learner Advisory Council, or ELAC, representatives and staff members from PUSD schools and provides annual trainings, oversight, and assistance to ELAC committees. Based on their observations and experiences, DLAC officers presented a series of recommendations including holding meetings at a time convenient for parents, establishing a community assistant position at each school site, and providing annual training for language development resource teachers. Staff will continue to work with the DLAC officers to respond to and implement their recommendations. PUSD Budget Chief Finance Officer John Papalardo provided a budget update to the board. Dr. Papalardo reiterated that the district has lost $5.8 million this year and projects a $13 million loss next year due to state budget reductions. PUSD has identified and is in the process of implementing $12.5 billion in cuts to balance the budget. However, the governor will soon issue a revised forecast, which may include an anticipated shortfall of $16 billion or more, depending on whether statewide ballot propositions are approved. This would result in additional cuts for PUSD. The district expects to receive one-time federal stimulus funds in the amount of $14.1 million in 2009-2010 and $9 million the following year. Dr. Papalardo will continue to provide updates on the rapidly changing budget situation at each board meeting until June 30. Dr. Papalardo's presentation, along with additional information about the district's budget, is available online at PUSDbudget.org. Strategic Planning Superintendent Diaz discussed a proposed comprehensive strategic planning process to include outreach and participation by PUSD's diverse communities, key stakeholders, and staff. Superintendent Diaz expressed concern about the cost of the process in this difficult budget environment and recommended that the district seek external funding to cover the costs. The board agreed to defer the discussion to its annual retreat later in May. Other items. All board reports and resolutions passed. You may view this meeting in its entirety online at www.pusd.us slash board meetings. This has been your PUSD board meeting highlights for Tuesday, May 12, 2009.